Hinata, multiple profanities, left her laps as it was down the road. Your skateboard couldn't seem to take you fast enough. Even when you violently kicked your sneakers on the tar to push it as far as possible. You didn't want to be late for your first day of high school, already foreseeing how embarrassing it would be. But you just had to sleep past your alarm this morning. With careful skill, you angled your skateboard and rounded a large corner. However, due to your insane speed, you almost didn't notice a ginger hair boy riding his bicycle a couple feet in front of you. You yelled fearfully, knowing you wouldn't be able to stop your board in time, which in turn warned the boy of your presence. He caught sight of you in his peripheral vision just in time and quickly curved his bicycle to the left, out of the way. You zoomed past him and quickly did a slight stop to brake just as he sees his bicycle riding. You both turned to each other with wide eyes and you gasped. I'm so sorry. I'm in a rush. Please forgive me. You apologized and bowed your head, knowing you couldn't waste any more time. You didn't even give him a chance to say anything. You got back onto your skateboard and kicked at the ground to take off, leaving the poor boy dumbfounded. Kageyama Your lungs were burning in your chest, Fire and ice, fighting to fill your system, but you ignored every warning your body gave you to stop running. You just wanted to get away from everything, let yourself drown in the music blasting in your earphones, and allow yourself to be consumed by the midnight painted streets. Anything to get away from the hellhole that you call home. Your parents wouldn't stop screaming, fighting back and forth, and throwing every insult under the sun. You had to get out of the house. So, you grabbed your phone and earphones and went out for a run. It's not like this is the first time you've done this. You always do it, just to let off steam and escape. But today had been worse than usual. You found yourself pushing and running faster than usual. Needless to say, you were exhausted. You only wished you carried some water with you. But just your luck, you found a vending machine sitting right outside an Arby convenience store. You sighed in relief, coming to a stop and walking towards it. Thankfully, you always kept a dollar hidden in your phone case for an emergency. You pulled the note out and put it into the machine and picked the bottled water. The wires in the machine twisted, about to relieve the bottle, only for it to fall against the glass and get stuck. You sighed in despair. Move. Your head shot up at an unfamiliar voice, belonging to a tall boy around your age. Sweet dripped from his forehead, with one ear plugged in his ear, while the other dangled in the air, emitting the faint sounds of rock music. Was he out for a run as well? You blinked and took a step backward watching as he stepped forward and gently took the vending machine with experience. He's clearly dealt with it before. The bottle fell from the shelf into the base of the vending machine. The boy bent down and grabbed it through the flap before turning and handing it to you. Here, he said. You gratefully took it. Thanks, you said and opened the bottle to take a sip. He said nothing more, only nodding slightly and turning to face the vending machine. Getting one for himself, you smiled widely, despite his back facing towards you. You then closed your bottle before breaking off into a sprint to disappear into the night. Kenma Oh, thank God! At the sight of the new release of your favorite video game series, you skidded through the door and towers the shelf. Animal Crossing. New Horizons. You've been waiting for its release for seven years, and here it was, at your fingertips. The game has been hyped for a while now. You counted your lucky stars, and reached out to grab the game case, 
only for another pale hand to call it with yours. You guess lightly in surprise, your eyes wiping around to meet with yellow, cat-like ones. Both you and the mysterious boy froze. You've never been the best at confronting people as it is. It's why you prefer to drown yourself in a world like Animal Crossing, where your only friends were animals. You didn't know who got here first, but you weren't about to give up on a game you've been waiting seven years for. The look in his eyes nearly made you cave. Um, you began, but found you had nothing to say. Silence passed between you two again. Y you should... You both said in the same time and stopped. His eyes went even wider. I mean, you spoke at the same time again. So, you decided to completely shut your mouth and let him do the talking. But little did you know, he had the same idea. It resulted in you standing in awkward silence for another extended period of time. Was this guy just as an introverted as you were? Suddenly, he sighed, lowering his head for his custard hair to flop in his face. It's yours, you got here first, he said. He then turned on his heel not given any expression as he walked away. You barely had any time to process it all, even when he left the store and left you behind with a slack jaw.